Hi guys, my name is Tanya and this is not just a book on haul, this is the bookshelf massacre. So I'm not such a big fan of book hauls for multiple reasons, varying from the fact that I don't really haul books, they just kind of multiply in my room and I'm not sure where they come from. All the way through feeling uncomfortable about showing off things that I've bought and I'm now getting rid of. It seems kind of wasteful and it frustrates me and it's why I have such issues getting rid of things. And also through how I don't care if you own or borrow your books, as long as you're reading them and you're happy, I just happen to have a lot of books and that doesn't necessarily always make me happy. But if you watch my May wrap up you will know that I am having a massive clear out. For those of you that don't know I am moving house and I'm having a massive clear out on a ridiculous scale for me and my bookshelves have been no exception to the point where this is impressive and I kind of want to document it. Firstly, as there are so many books here I am not going to read them out one by one or show them to you individually. I've sorted them into categories of varying significance but I will pick out some of significance to comment upon. So I present to you the Great Bookshelf Massacre of 2016. Books I was gifted and don't actually use. British Baking 2012. I received this as a prize in 2012-2013 for entering a competition on the Baking Mad website who published the book. I've never baked anything from it. I'm sure it's a wonderful book and someone else will find something to bake from it but I haven't made anything. Academic books that I'm never going to read again. I have all these books about the sublime. I don't think I cared about the sublime when I was studying it. I don't know why I've held on to them this long. This one talks about what might be sublime about root vegetables. I don't know, I still don't understand. Books I have on my Kindle but bought again anyway. I bought this copy of Night Film because the layout on the inside has all these cool things and like fact sheets and stuff. Even though I already own it on my Kindle and you still get to see those aspects of the layout on your Kindle. It just happened to be a pound in Poundland. Cookbooks that I don't cook anything from. These are all my old Weight Watchers cookbooks. I haven't found anything that I'd actually want to eat from them in a good couple of years. Not saying that Weight Watchers food is bad, but in terms of vegetarianism it can be quite hard. I am sad about getting rid of this one. This was my first ever cookbook and I just don't make dinosaur shaped sandwiches enough to justify keeping it. Books I started reading and realised that I really don't care about. I know it's cliched and everything, but I am kind of sad that I didn't get on with this second book in Zoella's Girl Online series, because I did actually really enjoy the first book and I thought it was important that someone in the limelight was talking about mental illness in the way that it was talked about in the first book. But I read the first couple of chapters of this and I just don't care. I think the story in the first book did the thing that I needed it to and this is just excess for me. Books I was going to try and read again to make myself like them. I really wanted to love this book, but I didn't on my first read, and no matter how long it sits on my shelf, I don't think I'm going to get around to reading it again. I just didn't like it that much. Books that I actually loved, but that I think deserve a new home. It's going to sound weird because these are the books that I really care about, but I am actually glad that it is the biggest pile of the lot. Because I'm really glad that I've had the strength to let these books go back out into the world for other people to hopefully find the same kind of joy or their own joy from them. And some of these have been really hard to let go, like Carrie's book. I actually decided to donate a couple of months ago, but it's been sitting around waiting to be taken and it keeps coming back in and out of my bedroom because I adore Carrie. And at some point in my life, this book would have really helped me, but where I'm at the age that I am, I don't don't think it's necessarily the most helpful for me so if someone else could pick this up in a charity shop and find it informative and helpful then that would make me really happy so I'm gonna donate it and hope that someone really finds a good use for it and a good home for it. My final category is books that I am pretending didn't happen and there is only one book in this category. It is the 11th Princess Diaries book Royal Wedding. For a Princess Diaries book this tried to cram in too many things and I was not as much a fan of adult Mia as I was teenage Mia. And and the plot point that comes about at the end for me is not a topic that I care about and it kind of upset me because I don't want to think about my childhood icons going to the places that this book would take her. I'm pretending it didn't happen. I'm giving this book away and it didn't happen. What 11th Princess Diaries book? You're lying. So yeah, that was my Great Bookshelf Massacre of 2016. 
I am now going to pack all of these into an old suitcase and hopefully wheel them down to the book charity shop in town where I'm hoping that they will get the time, homes and love that they deserve. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, that maybe if you're thinking about having a clear out seeing other people managing to do it might help you and spur you on in that process. It's actually a really good feeling, I never knew how good it would feel to declutter my room and to have all this space around me to have everything in one place on the bookshelf. I'm enjoying it so much now and I can't wait to move into my new room. I hope that you are having a lovely day, I hope that everything is going really well for you, and I will see you again soon. Bye! -bye.